Interesting. Okay, well, let's keep on keep on making units. <clears throat> Just need to uh to pump out as many as I can. Mm, that's potentially a good choice. Putting down an encampment on one of these tiles. Can't afford this tile. I could sell some stuff. Oh my, I could sell a lot of things. Let's see. Um... Oh, I never sold my default paper. I need to sell this. Wow. Um, sure. Okay. So now I have the money. Let's put an encampment on the tile. I don't know if this war is still going to be going in 18 turns, <clears throat> but if it is, or if I ever fight against Sparta, or Greece rather, I'm going to want an encampment there. A little bit of some forward thinking. So we get a kill here for our vampire. This vampire is a lot weaker than the other one, so I'm a little bit worried about sending our settler forward, but we'll try. You can always just recapture if you need to. Okay, here come the horsies. I think we just hit this guy. Um, I don't really know exactly how to navigate this perfectly because Canada suddenly has had a burst of military strength out of nowhere. I think this tends to happen when us when like the game realizes you're gonna lose, it gives them a little extra boost of production. Or when the game realizes they're gonna lose. Um we'll leave this crossbowman hanging just to try to attract one of these shots. Um but the problem is I don't think this guy makes it out either way. Um the only way though is if I take a step back. All these hills, they're just so problematic. <clears throat> or at least a lot to deal with. Send. So <clears throat> that guy now needs to have to defend Halifax. And then I guess I'll do some damage. We're going to take a city shot for that. <clears throat> but it's okay. That amounts to a little bit of free XP uh, but in the long run. So let's leave this guy healing here. He might bait an attack. Um. coming up this way. 
So yeah, I don't think this guy makes it out no matter what we do. So let's just try to do as much damage as we can. I think hitting this is probably the best call. And I wish that I could have done a, um, <clears throat> a second attack. But because of all these hills, my upgraded mana dorms haven't actually been able to do very much double attacking. Which really, really decreases their power level overall. It's disappointing. I, I didn't realize that, that was how that would be what would happen. I thought that I would still be able to double attack. I guess uh, until you get up into like tanks, you don't have enough movement to do that on hills. Probably a uh, mechanized infantry too. What died? At arms. Okay, whoa, still alive. Um, only for now, but <clears throat> um, that's pretty good actually. We can use this, we can probably try to use this man at arms uh, to pull like a crossbowman into a really bad spot where they're guaranteed to die. We can see here we've got another crossbowman that has stepped too far forward. So Canada has been really, really aggressive with their positioning of these crossbowmen, and that doesn't really make much sense. Let's see. So we have to kill this ranged unit. We'd be at it all day. Do I want any of this? I don't think I do. Yeah, I'm good as it is. <clears throat> we'll get a little bit more strength for the vampire. That's great. Keep on stepping forward. Okay, wonderful. We have now a... Um, Um, I'm going to pick up Victor. Pretty good for these combat situations to make sure you don't lose uh, to a recapture of one of the cities that you've just taken. We'll slap this guy on Midla. Stay on Midla for now. Then uh, when Medieval Fairs comes up, we'll pick up another, another governor just to apply as much lo loyalty pressure as we can muster. I want to get all of the loyalty that we can. Let's see. Interesting. We can get suzerainty. That's useful. Um, well, I'll just hold on to this envoy for now. No reason to use that. A little bit of your score. That's good. We are almost to avoiding uh, a dark age after our golden age. That's great. One of the biggest pitfalls is to get a golden age and go dark age after because you didn't generate enough era without. The little, what is it, the uh, the bonus, the dedication, giving you era score. That's the thing, is none of these uh, Golden Age dedications actually give era score at all, unlike the other ones. Okay, I think heal, and then charge. Go forward here. Pull these guys back. Stay up. Also, take you back. Um, maybe even like full retreat this guy, just to keep. Yeah, because now the the pressure is coming in from the bottom, and this whole area is secured as long as I can keep pressure on the bottom. So I don't really mind letting go of this uh, upper region, because I can always just retake that much more easily than I could the first time. Okay. Um, now, I probably could kill this crossbowman. I'm not sure if I should. Okay, I can. That's... Oh. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. 
I, I hope that they don't have a horseman nearby. If they do, then that is a colossal waste. That would be very sad, but I think I should be okay with that. Well, no. Let's clear that. Okay. Well, do we take any losses? <clears throat> I wonder. Some of the other armies are getting pretty big. It's important to note ours has stayed about the same strength because we've been taking so many losses. Ah, yeah, as you can see, we pulled this crossbowman into a terrible spot. Wait, what? They didn't even kill this crossbow. They, they didn't kill this guy. It was a different, it was a different man-at-arms that got killed. The one that retreated. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. I think that actually is a huge mistake on their part. So what I'm going to do here is fortify this vampire. I don't want to attack uh, because I want to do as much damage as I can the next round. Uh, and then I'm probably going to sacrifice it to get another uh, point of strength in the long run. Because it'll just come right back and need to heal. So let's send you up here. And um, so I don't... Okay. So where can I put a trade route? Sparta. This gives me, I think, exactly the road I want. Yes, that's fantastic. That's what we want to do. And then I can do probably, actually, let's do this. Now that I've got that road, I didn't realize I could do that from there. We'll do a cod to Victoria to bring in that road as well. The uh, road placements, where you have your traders go, <clears throat> very important. Um, this is going to give me a path to reinforce to Canada so much more easily. Let's see, So I could attack here. Actually, that's a kill, so I will. See, I'm going to pull this guy back and move the knight into position. And then I don't know if I can actually prevent the death of this unit. I don't think I can. It depends on if this crossbowman I can't quite get the kill. That's unfortunate. That's okay. Um, really not the end of the world. <clears throat> These knights are going to carry a lot of weight. And uh, it looks like we've gotten beaten back pretty bad, but we actually have um, quite a bit of power here still. And we're just healing most of it at this time. Oh, good. And I was worried that that guy would die to a random knight, but he hasn't. Um, no coursers here, so treat. Yeah, that's actually really good. What? Oh, I'm really surprised that that knight was able to be taken down in a single round. But this is fine. We've gotten, um, we got our warrior up. We got our man at arms out. Um, and we have beaten out a lot of these catapults. Um, I just cannot get through here. We keep getting more and more more and more army out of Canada. Um, it's wild, out of six cities, you know. Should not be able to produce this much. It seems like it's a crossbowman every turn or so. 
a little ridiculous, but it is what it is. You know, I mean, the deity, or the high-level AI, it, it literally cheats. That's how they make the game harder, so it's just something you get used to. Okay, we have now just completely eviscerated Canada. Um, we've killed a bunch of their crossbowmen, we killed a bunch of their, um, all, we killed all of their catapults um, that they had had for a long time and were using to clog up this area to the south um, and have pushed them back now into their main area. So this southern region is pretty easy for us to maintain control of at this point. Um, and soon we'll have a road and a bunch of reinforcing military units. So I think we're okay. Um, I maybe I maybe should have been more careful. I think I lost too many units. Um, and if I had held on to my units a bit more carefully, we might have been in a better spot here. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through. I'm going to have every single city make a military unit. So this is going to make... Big difference. Well, actually, okay, not this city, because this city is tiny. But every other city is going to make a military unit. Um, we don't have an encampment here, so let's make another knight. Let's see. And then here we don't have either, so uh, we can't make any more knights, so let's make um, a pikeman. Note that we can't make banded arms either because those require iron. I guess actually, let's buy iron. Buy iron from somebody. Yeah, let's do that. We can buy these also. That's great. But um, I want to get iron. Um, twenty-two gold, two fifty-eight for fifty-four iron. I mean, that is kind of a lot of iron would be a pretty big pop for us. It seems like a lot, though. Oh, I see. Hmm. Does seem like a lot. He is my ally. Let's give him the money. Give him money. Um, and that way we can keep making a bunch of knights. We don't have to worry. We can make some man at arms too. Let's see. Um, Sparta is in kind of a bad spot. It would be pointless to make a unit there. Victoria um, can make a unit fairly quickly. So let's make a man at arms here. And let's see, then we have uh, Nidoros. All right, so let's go ahead and make a, what do we have? Let's make a knight <clears throat> with that iron. And then here at Mitla, got that aqueduct finishing up. Let's start a knight after that. That iron there. And then we only have 12 iron left, so from here, we need to do um, crossbowmen and pikemen. Actually, let that barracks finish up. And then make a crossbowman. Let's make another crossbowman here. I'll just try to ingress in with crossbowmen. I think that can help a lot. We have just a bunch of those. Let's see. Uh, pick up a pikeman here. Already making a man at arms there. Already making a knight there. Already making a man at arms and a knight. 
Okay, so that's everything. So we've now shifted into full military production here in about 10 turns. We should be able to replenish our forces, and uh, that will help us close this war out. Uh, without that, we're going to struggle. Let's see, let's do that. We swung this guy around. <laughs> hmm. That's not exactly the road that I want, but it will connect eventually. So yeah, maybe we go to Anshan, because um, that will eventually give me the road I'm looking for. So we go city state. Okay. So now our roads will exist. We'll be able to get up to the battlefront that much faster. So right around the time that uh, our trader arrives and gets our roads going over into Sparta, um, we're finally going to have our warriors, or our military units coming out, uh, letting us put on all sorts of pressure and stuff. Okay. These crossbowmen are tough. They just get so much free damage. Um, and I'm not sure how to attack into them at this point. I almost feel like I need um, Pericles to go to war against... But then what's Pericles going to do, you know? Canada has, has all this defensive territory. I just need to break this. <laughs> I'm so close. Um, yeah, maybe if I can just power overwhelming, kind of crush through with enough units, but I don't think I have enough units at this time. Um, so we'll step there. We just want to do as much damage to these crossbowmen, I think, as we can. Um, try to really hurt these ranged units, I think, is what the goal needs to be. And then hopefully we can hang in there long enough to uh, actually beat on Canada. We'll just we'll just toss this guy at, at that crossbow, and again, we just want to just want to kill the crossbow. Oh, hey, that's nice. Excuse me. There we go. Um, I'm gonna hold this settler back. I don't know how this turn is gonna go. I don't know. Maybe I should peace out. But I really want to try to go for this Conqueror. I feel like maybe I should have switched into full military sooner. Um, I could have thrown... I guess my science is keeping up. You know, I did, I, I did build some infrastructure. So I'm not out of the game. But I really need to actually beat Canada. And I'm, I think I was over-aggressive. Because I know that I need to beat Canada. I think I, I tried to rush things. But these high level AIs is very, very punishing when you try to rush things. Oh no, they have armies. I can't fight this anymore. Yeah. They already got. How did they already get nationalism? I'm, I'm six freaking. 
We've been making the same amount of culture all game. Did they ignore everything except national? Oh my god. So I, I don't think I can fight Canada anymore. Because they're going to have um, crossbowmen armies. I don't have anything that can deal with that. So I think I just have to let Canada be. This sucks. But yeah, until I get armies, I can't do anything. And uh, I should have waited anyway. I should have just waited. I should never kept fighting. Such a waste. Ugh. So I need to I need to back off. I don't think necessarily that I can oh, I, sh I can't even I don't know what to do. I need to collect my thoughts. Okay, so thinking has been happening, and yeah, I can't beat Canada. I already beat Canada. I can't kill Canada. Took a bunch of Canada stuff. That's good. It actually is a really good thing. It, I was feeling like I overcommitted, but actually, no. I needed to kill those catapults. Ca Canada almost had catapult armies. And they were going to roll those catapult armies at me. Um, if I had not killed those catapults, I would be losing several cities, like, in about 10 or 15 turns. There was no way I could hold catapult armies showing up at my door. And he had enough to make, I think, four? Four catapult armies? Maybe even five or six by then? So, I... Whew, very important that I killed those catapults. So I'm feeling good about that. I'm glad it, he's not rebuilding catapults, so that, that plan seems to be out the window. Um... But I think that's what the Canadian AI was planning on doing. So it's worth that I stayed. Um, but I did really lose a lot of ground. I think if this game had been on Deity, um, I probably would be in a losing position at this point. Because I hadn't, I didn't kill Canada all the way. Um, <clears throat> think about what went wrong. I probably just overcommitted uh, and should have been more careful with my units like I, just, I lost too many units because i didn't realize um just from lack of experience that the uh units with the movement upgrade like would be able or sorry the units with the the double attack upgrade wouldn't be able to double attack on hills i thought as long as they didn't move they would be able to attack again um it shows how much i played domination a thousand hours in civ and <laughs> i'm just now learning this but um, as long as they're on, if they're on, a, if if they're attacking onto a tile that costs two movement, um, then they can't attack again after, and that caused me to take really big losses. That I was not really fully cognizant of that in terms of my planning and my movement. Um, in the you know in the future, I, I've learned from that, so that that'll be really helpful to know. But it did cause me to take some pretty big losses. If I were to go back, say fifty turns, I think I would I would play some of these last maybe 20 or so, pretty differently. Um, <clears throat> being much more careful to um, pull back weak health units and, and probably being much more aggressive in terms of my production of military units. Because here's the thing, I still have to build a giant military right now. I, I don't get to stop building military units because there are everyone mad at me and uh, several people have a big army. So I can't, I can't, be a target for them. I need to have enough army to get them to leave me alone so that I can actually leverage the fact that I have more cities than everybody else in the game by four. Um, if I can manage to leverage that, if I can switch into infrastructure, I can go back into war later um, and try to conquer everything. Um, or maybe even do a completely different victory condition totally unforeseen at this point. It's still medieval era, pretty early in the game. Um, so I'm not necessarily locked into anything at all. Um, so I think at this point, it's perfect timing for the peace declaration. Um, I'm going to make that happen and um, see what to do from there. Now, I do still need to build all of the units that I just started. I probably could have killed Canada if I had started building those units. Um, I think I even commented um, a little while ago, about an hour ago, about how um, I was... I maybe should be switching into military, but I was going to keep doing infrastructure. Um, and 
that I think that decision. Whoa, uh, my power is like flickering. I think there was a power surge here. Let me um make sure I'm plugged in all the way. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It wasn't my plug being loose? That was a full-on power surge. Crazy. Um. Oh, there it goes again. I might go offline. Um, that's not good. Or maybe it's my um. Maybe it's just a bulb dying near me. It's possible that it's just a light bulb dying. Um. Because my computer seems to be fine. I wonder if the, uh, plugged in. Does it appear to be plugged in on what? Right? Yeah, power search. That kind of thing doesn't usually happen around here. Um, okay. <clears throat> well. So. That's the thing. That's the thing that has been thunk. We have, we have thought the thoughts. Let's continue. We're going to take the peace stack. We're going to try to get everything out of Canada that we can. I don't think I can get any of these cities. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to ask anyway. Might as well. Um, it's fine. Can we get this? Wow. All right. What about... Uh, no? Okay. Got any money? Okay. How about that money? And how about this? Yep. Okay. Sure. We'll just take everything. Right, I feel like if they won't do more than like thirty of this or something. Twenty. Yeah. If you do even if you do any more than that, you know, they won't they won't accept the deal. Okay. Will you sell your horses or I am? No, okay, well I mean this is a good deal. We got sixty gold for thirty turns. We're basically taking their entire economy. Um and we got all their gold in their pocket as well. Uh, in addition to two of their cities and a thing. So, yes, they're happy now. And I'm happy now. Um, and Canada stays poor forever. So, well, temporarily. 30 turns. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> now, I'm a little worried about the loyalty of Halifax, though, when it is not rising minus 3.6. That doesn't make any sense. Um, when it's not a, um, a golden age. But hopefully, I'll be able to hold that down. Okay. So we're out of war. All of our military units are fine. <clears throat> Gonna do that. Heal up. And uh, send these guys here alert. Um, we're going to switch up our policies a lot uh, to give us lots of amenities for having garrisoned units. Um, actually, here, we're going to try to keep the strongest units at the front. So, send you back, actually. That guy garrison that. <clears throat> that way, we always have strong military forces to call on when we need them. We're going to make sure to uh, try to garrison every city with a melee unit. That would be good to increase our wall strength. And yeah, once we've gotten some military built up, we can start focusing on doing some other things really want to try to uh, get not sure how to uh, how to get this settler pushed through here <coughs> with just the the two units that I have that's right but maybe I send a uh, a horseman up here let's do that just in case we need another reinforcement 
I really want to be able to finally settle this freaking city I've been trying to do it for most of the era. <clears throat> Man, it's a shame we didn't get to kill Canada. Uh, but I think with nationalism, we should be able to attack somebody. Um, maybe we can attack the Byzantines, because they got kind of murked by... Uh, but I don't really see a good pathway to them, unfortunately, so... Um, <clears throat> maybe we're done with war and we do expanding. Draconis, as it were. I mean, that's nice. That's Those are some pretty islands there that nobody has taken. I could grab them. <clears throat> okay, so that's convenient. I was worried about what to do with that unit because I didn't want the horsemen to come through here and take my settler with the, for this super low health vampire. But this skirmisher can't do that. It's too far away. <clears throat> so that's fine now, uh, and I can just leave that vampire healing a little bit. I mean, even a small amount of health on those vampires is a bunch of damage, potentially. And let's see, actually, yeah, you know what? Let's get a settler here, and we'll float them off to the left. We'll, we'll purchase another settler. Really make this, we've made this monumentality here work. Absolutely put it to work. <clears throat> <clears throat> Flip through a bit. Sorry. Um, let's see. So we've got then. <laughs> Putting ranged boats here. Like I can imagine like a battleship shooting Vancouver eventually. Trader? We could use a trader. Um, and we're just going to hold <clears throat> all of our ranged units on standby outside of uh, cities, just offering support nearby. Uh, they don't buff up the walls of cities as much as the melee units do. That's why we want to have the uh, that's why we want to have the ranged ones nearby instead. Let's see, so Halifax here is losing loyalty all of a sudden, which is confusing because it was. Was loyal. Just gonna make it bigger. <clears throat> I am still running the cards for loyalty, right? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I'll get another governor soon. That will probably help secure Halifax. Oh, <clears throat> Mostly we just need to make Halifax big. So, uh, perhaps... Is there any high food types? Nowhere to put farms. So until the late game, it's going to be hard to make Halifax grow quickly. We'll probably swap this over. I mean, it's a two food tile. I don't see a way to make it grow any faster. I guess I could put domestic roots there. Because, um... Oh yeah, happiness. Right, amenities. I need those. I need amenities badly. So another thing to think about is I'm going to have a lot of gold here. <clears throat> so where do I move this production? I need to find some cities that really need production assistance. This workshop could be worthwhile. Buy that. That can get me into a pikeman in an arena that much faster. <clears throat> I just need to make sure to be putting this gold where it matters. The library seems like a valuable purchase. Let's do that. Maybe we'll build a workshop after that. Make another night. It's uh, good to have a good mix of melee units. You don't want to have too much of one. 
one type a lot of the time. <clears throat> you get into the mid-game, you really need generally everything. Although in general, uh, the anti-cavalry units are pretty fine if you just want to spam something out. Especially since they don't really require don't require any extra resources. Uh, spamming out a bunch of ranged units it actually can backfire in a big way, leave you with a pretty frail army. <clears throat> and um, the uh, knights and stuff will just run right through them in open combat. So you don't want to do that a lot of the time, unless you're playing very cautiously with your positioning. Let's see. Just want to get this military strength <clears throat> probably up over a thousand i think would be good we're seeing like 1200 and a thousand here um, i want to compete there so that they focus on someone else who is not me uh, and attack them because clearly these two are planning to go to war i don't even know are they already at war already at war Oh, this guy's winning a war. Sheesh. Hmm. Woo, okay. So, did not forget. There's a scout here. He has one job. It is to go to the right until he is on the left. Pick up castles. <clears throat> I guess it's about time we get castles. And, uh... Yeah, these skirmishers are great now. They can go across ocean. So we'll just let them wander around. Let them wander around. They'll find stuff for us. That'll be good. Uh, I do want to settle these islands. I don't know if I can do so safely. I think one of those spots should be really good. It's in a galley there ahead. I might be able to Because, <clears throat> do I have caravels now? I do. That's something I should put my gold towards. Upgrading this galley into a caravel. Um, although these, this kelp forest is interesting. I don't know if I want to get rid of that or keep it. <laughs> it does, uh, it would help protect the harbor. But at the same time, it slows down exiting the harbor. We'll have to think about that. Um, I think I need to take a step back. I don't think I can embark. And I don't want to lose this unit. <clears throat> if anything is going to die here, I would much rather it be the vampire. Uh, than the man at arms because the vampire doesn't actually die. Okay, uh, we are making that army. We're already up to 700. I'm probably, with these units I've got queued up, I think I'm looking at like 1200 ish. So we'll be pretty high up there around the top military. And then we'll just keep it to ourselves for a little while. Um, maybe next era, uh, we'll upgrade it and go to war with someone else. I have been contemplating taking over these two city-states for a long time. Maybe we do that. Let's heal up, and we'll send that skirmisher out too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
the music sometimes is uh, very unique. <clears throat> As a uh, sheltered American who knows nothing of the world, I, uh, it sounds interesting sometimes. Yeah, we'll do that. I love culture. I will buy culture. What an interesting map with this gigantic mountain range right here in the middle, separating all the empires out. Fascinating. Looks like these three are coming together. I'm sure I'm glad I'm not over here. <laughs> this is a much better spot. Uh, this was originally just me in Norway, but I, I killed Norway. <laughs> Norway is no more way. Okay. Well, there's coursers. Let's see. So, from here, we can do a couple things. It is, it's been a long time coming that we get education banking and start making banks and universities. That would be good. Could go towards Renaissance walls as well. If I feel like I'm going to get attacked, which I don't. Um, but military science, though, would be available after that, and military science is pretty good. Um, I haven't really placed all my districts. How many districts do I have left to place? Uh, it's a little risky revealing Niter with so many districts waiting to go down. Um, I'm not sure I want to do that yet. Might want to hold off on that for now. You can go ahead and pin down a couple more. I do have the ability to do that at this point. We're going to build here in Scouts mode. I'll put a dam here. And what we need a granary. And. There's a couple good spots to put a commercial hub. And Kumasi's going to be able to put that there. I think there's some reason to put one of those. No, I think a commercial hub in this location is ideal. It'll be protected from the floodplains it's on. And those floodplains are never going to improve because be putting a dam here in Nidaros. That'll come up after our uh, amphitheater finishes. And that will buff up this uh, eventual industrial zone to plus seven. A truly monstrous buff that will eventually, uh, I believe, be tripled and then doubled after that. <laughs> So it gets a little outrageous, and then we can even have overlapping bonuses. So that's it's that's a big title. But I forgot I wanted to upgrade this. How much does this cost? Three hundred and sixty. Well, I think I should hold off on sending that settler out there until I know more about what's going on. Let's sacrifice this. Um, or sacrifice this uh, vampire. Try to keep this man at arms alive. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the settler a step back, actually, just in case. And I don't I don't want to do military engineering yet, which means I don't want to go down into this bottom half of things. Printing would be valuable just to know what's going on. I think education and banking is the way I need to go. Then 
following that, uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to go towards coal. Because coal shows up in a lot fewer places that I want to build. <clears throat> You know, it might show up on some forests, but all in all, coal is a bit safer. Let's see, where would I want to make a big push, though? I've got lots of knights, men-at-arms, and pikemen. So there's the pike and shot, but that's not really that much more powerful than what I've got right now. Um, the Curiouser would be the upgrade for the Knight, and that represents a major bonus. Uh, 50 to 64 is, is quite the jump. Um, the Cavalry at 62 is big. I could also consider something like um, Bombards. I feel like I maybe want to wait out the, uh, the Renaissance Era. Maybe want to wait out the Renaissance Era and have a fight. A big fight during the Industrial Era. Uh, and just keep fighting all through the modern and atomic. I think having a little renaissance here, where we get all of the money and all of the science and all of the culture and all of the amenities going in all of these cities, that'll make a big difference in terms of our future prospects. Hopefully that's right. That's what we're going to do. Fortify, put everybody everywhere. Soon we're going to put a, uh, a card in that gives us an amenity for every single city where a unit is garrisoned. And that is just gigantic. I love that. One of the best cards in the game, I think. There's a blizzard. Good thing the settler's not there right now. I think once we get those amenities slotted, things are going to look a lot better as far as our infrastructure and build times are concerned. Oh, wow, that's great, actually. That means I can save this man at arms for sure. <clears throat> and I'm just going to pull this guy back. I, I could attack. Wouldn't be a big deal, right? This guy would die. But then, in theory, the skirmisher might step forward. Or some other... Maybe there's a, a, a horseman here that I haven't seen. That come through. Kill my very valuable unit. Probably not. not. I don't think that's what's going on. But you never know. Better to be careful. If you're wondering about my skill level, um, I have won a few games on Deity ever. <laughs> And I like to play on Immortal for like a challenge that I think is in my favor. I, I feel like I can win Immortal fairly consistently um, if I get a good game going. But uh, I think you know everyone who plays Civ knows that <laughs> to get a good game going often takes a few tries. Usually you get totally killed by someone spawning right next to you. Uh, <clears throat> I, this time, I was the one spawning right next to somebody totally killing them. Uh, but, yeah, it uh, doesn't always put you in a winning position. You have to be very careful about how hard you commit, and you have to actually be successful at what you commit to as well. So, for example, the time that I spent committing over here, I could still have a lot of that army and not have to be building army right now. 
That said, it's not the end of the world that I'm building some army right now. I didn't lose that much in terms of military power, especially compared to how much I took from Canada. Um, reminder that Canada was at over a thousand military power um, when they declared war on me, and I was about the same. I was actually at a lower power than I am right now. Um, so we absolutely dominated the attrition war. Um, totally crushed their army as they tried to invade, and then um, kept crushing it overall. So things are all right. Things are all right. Can't complain too much about this position, really. With all these cities, I mean, it's hard to complain about your position. Um, we have almost circumnavigated. Look at that, he's on the left. It's happening. Uh, and we'll still need a few more points to avoid the Dark Age. But, uh, yeah, it seems like it's going to happen. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> I really don't want that settler to get caught in the blizzard. I was hoping it would not move north. Uh, usually they stay on the snowy tiles, so that's not good. Might delay us for a little bit. I don't know why the AI why would you move into a blizzard? That's what? Hmm. There's a lot of uh, Shinto apostles around here. I need to get my my uh, I need to get my great prophet going, but uh, I cannot because of this policy. This active effect here. Oh. No great profits, yeah. I guess maybe I could buy one. They're not that expensive. Two thousand. But I mean it's it's gonna end soon anyway. It's what? Nine turns? Not worth. Oh, five gold from um affording that ship. Maybe I can sell something. Someone give me five gold. Three. 30 gold for this. What? No. Maybe 20? Okay. Will anyone buy my iron? Yes. There we go. We got the five gold. And now there's a caravel. Beautiful. So that is a much bigger boat that is far more powerful. It's now my strongest unit, actually. Um, and we are going to use that to explore all sorts of good stuff. Um, hmm. Now I really want to get this dam locked in. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Also, like to slap in a preserve here, um, but I don't have the population. So let's go for a comp this complex theater square. This time, that seems like a right call. We can finally get that infrastructure done. And then we'll go ahead and send this knight forward. Gonna fortify the man at arms here. Might as well heal it up. Fortify there. Two turns from medieval fairs. That's going to get us another governor and going to get us uh, the uh, free policy change, which will let us have all of our amenity problems solved uh, empire wide. It's going to be great. We'll have uh, probably it will go from <laughs> angry to ecstatic, um, displeased rather, to ecstatic. Almost to the point where every city is garrisoned as well, just in time. And the skirmisher is full health. Oh good, the blizzard went away. Now I don't actually know which of those two tiles I want to settle on, but I want to settle on one of those two, I think. And I want to settle here. Wait, did I want to settle there? Let's go with yes. I think I wanted to settle there. I put a tile. I guess not. 
Oh, this is fine. This is also a good spot. Let's see, I can put a harbor down right there. Um, I could potentially put a campus here, but I'd rather put a campus there. Um, and that's good because I, I want to put a commercial hub uh, next to the harbor. Uh, so let's go ahead and break this Wales tile and not make that harbor yet. We'll make a granary and a monument and walls instead and then do the harbor because um yeah that sounds that sounds better i should maybe just go walls first but nobody really knows about this city yet except for me because i have suzerainty of cardiff so uh, i'm not too worried about it getting attacked and there's no barbarians nearby either to worry about so i think it should be okay Next turn. Oh, not yet. Why is my vampire here? I don't remember sending this guy here. I thought I sent him up here. Um, but I guess we're going to go over there. Let's check out this island. Good, and eventually Kumasi will be big enough to put this down, and I can build this city. Um, I wonder, will I have enough time? Aw. Oh. You're not even powerful. Oh, I see. A joint war. Interesting. I just got out of war. I didn't want to... Man. Annoying. I was hoping this would not happen. Oh, uh, that's not good. So where is Mapuche? I don't actually know where Mapuche is. Portugal's down here. And Portugal, I think, yeah, they're very advanced. This is bad. Um, probably one of the two civs I really wanted to be at war with me least and was the main reason why I was building military units was to avoid this happening. Uh, this makes me reconsider how important it was for me to have killed those catapults. Um, it may have been more important for me to avoid this war by having enough units on the board, but perhaps I can get some sympathy because um, Saladin now likes me and uh, you know the denounce expires eventually. Maybe I can convince them to join my side. Let's declare friendship here and make an alliance and see if we can get a military alliance. Because if we can, um, he, I think this will force him into war with us. Like, does that mean he's at war with them now? No. Um, okay. Let's see, and I would rather, I guess, who, do, who would I want him to even help with? Um, well, Lautaro's are all the way over there, so I, I don't really think is going to cause problems, but uh, Portugal's a problem. The problem is I don't think that my only ally can actually cause problems for Portugal. So I may have just made a mistake in allying him, but it will make Canada like me a little more. Uh, well, Canada hates me, so... Canada is never going to like me, probably. But yeah, hopefully these uh, these denounces will wear off soon enough. Oh, it's great that I got a great general. That helps so much. What's this power here? A bombard. Um, that's awesome, but I don't actually think I want to use that. <clears throat> I think I'll probably use that later to upgrade into an artillery on the spot. That seems probably like what that would be for. It's possible I could even get another free settler. But I feel like I should absolutely be making more military units at this time, um, given the situation. Let's pop out another night. I just can't, I need to have military all over this continent and just be impossible to deal with. Um, I think also this crossbowman this entertainment complex too needs to go so that we can pump out uh, 
boats out of my out of my cities that are on the coast. How to make boats. So let's do that. Um, any other good? So I think that's what we need to do. That made a huge difference in terms of production time. Switching that tile over. Then yeah, maybe we. Uh, I don't know if we build this dam at this point. Um, we might need to build a couple of boats first. Let's hold off on these districts. And um, make some boats. Actually, have that much production in this city. It's a shame. Uh, do this. It's something at least. Yeah, I mean, I guess I've got the industrial zone, but until this dam comes up, I don't have that much production from the industrial zone. But at least we can make the boat. So I, it's a very good thing we have that um, kelp forest there. Let's see, so the good news is Sparta is still not in danger. Um, I guess we'll hold on to that envoy. But yeah, I fully expect to see some boats showing up over here at Stavanger pretty soon. Um, oops. But that is definitely not ideal. But it is happening, so. Well. These amenities are going to make an absolutely massive difference when it comes to our production of everything. So that's another thing we have to do is get is get uh, not just enough military to fight back, but enough military to fill all of our cities with a unit at all times to keep our amenities high. If not all, but most of our cities. Hmm. Tough situation. Some of these cities really aren't going to pop, like Kumasi, until we get uh, the ability to put <laughs> until we get the ability to put farms on hills. Once we once we have that, that'll help a lot. It's not like me. Go figure. Nobody really likes me. But diplomacy is non existent in this game. Very, very different. I was playing um, uh, Culture Victory last game. I think I did a Diplomatic Victory the one before. So, so I haven't done a, a warmongering playthrough in quite a while. Okay, so um, amenities for cities with garrison. So loyalty is important. I don't think it's as important as gold. Oh, I hope that this doesn't cause me to start losing that city. But I think really amenities will help me hold that city. Hopefully this is right. Uh, we're all, uh, 76 hertz, so it's falling three points. So it's not quite there. Um, oh, I did want a fourth. Right, I wanted to get a false one. So this would be probably Magnus, who we would want to pick up next just to enhance our chops. Is there anywhere that needs chops? Let's see, Victoria needs chops. 
and then Victoria. Okay. So as long as these cities actually get bigger, fast enough, um, we should be good. That'll help Toronto, which is a little bit small. There we go. Kumasi's pretty big now. Halifax looking pretty big. It was about the right size. Victoria's pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> you know, maybe I should build walls. It's possible that Limay's maybe should have been what I went for with um, medieval walls. A little late for that. But hopefully we'll be fine either way, even with a suboptimal choice. Oh, that's desert? That's not good. Well, that makes those tiles much less appealing. I guess it, it's not so bad if I had money to develop it. Maybe if I get a high-level arena later in the game, I could make that work just by cramming a bunch of districts in here. But I don't have the money to do that. I think this is going to be where I go then. Maybe settling on the Mercury. Go ahead and just put Gustavus Adolphus to sleep. Oh, no, let's send him over here actually. Sleep his defender. Yeah. All right. All right. Well. Well, we've got a big army. Not quite as big as the two people coming to kill us. But it's a big army. Big army. And it's getting bigger. I think I should be able to hold. Uh, but I worry about what kind of tech Jaw is going to show up with, like, for these, uh, for these walls. He probably has frigates, and those are pretty good. I'm going to need more than a couple caravels if he shows up with, you know, eight or nine frigates. And uh, that's how Portugal tends to do. So it's a, it's a little dicey, a little dicey at this time. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not looking great in that way. But at the same time, like, we've got more cities than everyone. So if we lose one, oh well. It's not the end of the world. We're okay. But if uh, we start losing badly, well, that might be it. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. So I'm just going to step forward. I don't want to leave this settler undefended. So I'm going to step forward one tile at a time. I'd rather use this man-at-arms to fight, but um, it is too injured. I'm going to hold off there. Let's send this settler south. Go off on an exploratory journey. Checking out these islands. Okay. So, this recommends here. I think that's probably right. And I can't settle there. 
Mm, look to settle there. Just go wide. I think this is fine. That. Start with the water mill. That's very good. Um, we've got fresh water, so we don't really need um, the granary, and it's not early in the game, so we don't need the monument right now. Early in the game, the monument is 100% of your culture. Right now, it would be, like, I don't know, slightly over 1% of my culture. Not quite good. It does matter. You should make them. If you're not making monuments, you're doing it wrong, as uh, I have heard it said. But you don't always have to make them first. <laughs> 